Um, quick pedalboard run through, like a few people have asked for. I'm going to try and keep this short because I know my videos tend to get a bit long sometimes. Um, I am not going to play through every pedal, but just so you know, I'll be playing my modified Squire um, modern Telecaster with a maple neck and Fender Custom Shop 51 no caster pickups through a Laney LH15 5 watt um, valve combo. This is the clean tone, give me a quick second. This is the standard clean tone, neck pickup. Uh, just to run you through the signal path of this lot, shut up phone. Um, my guitar comes in at this side, travels through this, the BYO. C, Build Your Own Clone OD2. It's a modded Tube Screamer with a Tube Screamer on this side and a Clean Boost on this side. I have it set to push my other pedals. I don't really use it on its own. It does sound nice on its own, but I have it before everything so I can add it to any settings that the Crocodile Tail Loop um, patches might have. The second, uh, so then we're into the Tail Loop, which is a buffered 10 loop programmable true bypass looper. The first loop is this, a Joyo rated boost. I have to say thank you to Joyo for these. I won them in a uh, giveaway contest on their Facebook site. Really great guys um, and really great pedals. I also have the Joyo thing. I used to have the Pixel 8 looper. That white boost is actually used in reverse to cut the volume from this guitar, which is a Telecaster Deluxe with Axis Aras Bourbon pickups, which I built and the pickups are slightly higher output than my white telly with the single coils. So this is simply a clean cut, leaves the tone intact, cuts the volume so that I have the same volume across all my guitars. The second, uh, so, the, yes, the, so the first pedal that this guitar would reach usually is this, my Trim Thing Compressor, custom built by 4114 FX. Dan, uh, those, that 4114 is an amazing guy in the UK, building bespoke pedals, and just shout at him, tell him what you want, and he'll build it pretty much. This is a parallel uh, transparent compressor based on a decompulator and a Walrus Audio Deep 6. Um, it's got a clean boost built in. I have it set for a little bit of a level boost and a little bit of subtle compression. So this is the neck pickup normally, and this is the compressor. See, it kind of crisps things up a bit. Um, and evens out the volume difference between the pickups a little bit, the intensity, but it just crisps up the clean tone really beautifully. Next is the Molar Overdrive. It is a T-Rex Molar first edition. Beautiful. It's the foundation of most of my tones. Cleanish, transparent, parallel mix um, overdrive. Really, really warm as well. Love it. Then we have the OCD in loop four, heavier drive. Um, you know. Yeah, fantastic. Not too great for lead lines because it's quite a biting drive. So um, that's why I have the Shaw Riot, which is my fifth loop, which is fantastic for those faster, smoother lead lines. Quite a high gain, noisy pedal. Um, it doesn't help that I'm using a Telecaster with vintage single coils either. Um, after that comes the Joyo Gold Face, which is a Marshall style drive. I have it set really clean as a clean boost. So this is bridge pickup, just clean, and this is with the. Tiny bit of bite and it's a little bit of a mid character change that makes your line stand out. Then we have the time magic which is an analog voiced, analog voiced delay. 
is mainly just there for adding little bits of delay to clean lines, but I don't use it very much anymore because next in the chain is the Eventide. We'll come to that because after the Time Magic is the volume insert where I take my mm -hmm. signal through, shut up phone, through the Nova Modulator and into the Boss Volume pedal. Nova Modulator has things like Trem and Chorus. That's all I use it for and I have it outside so I can stack it on top of other patches. And then there's the Volume pedal, simple. Really nice, simple, small volume pedal, proper, um, solid construction. Yeah, never going to give up and never going to let you down. I'm going to turn around and desert you. Whereas this is um, the next loop, which is the Eventide Time Factor, which has um, many, many delays, hundreds of delays. I have it set. I have four banks I can access with a foot switch, and all the rest I access from MIDI when I need them. Um, so it has things like digital delay, taped echoes, vintage delays. I use quite a lot of them. This is the digital delay on a dotted eight, for instance. And then each patch has a long delay and a short delay. Things like that. And this here is the expression pedal output from that. To give you an idea of what that does, I'll find my... Um, this right here is yeah, I can take, take delay, which I can then turn to be a dotted eight by just changing, and then back to quarter note. So it just gives you a lot of flexibility over pretty much every setting on there. It's a fantastic delay unit. I'm barely scratching the surface. And then after that comes the Strymon Blue Sky for all my reverb. That's the modulated room setting. Then the favourite switch gives me the uh, shimmer. Just to get everything really chunky and ethereal when you're doing your swells and stuff like that. And that is it. Everything is controlled by the Crocodile Tail Loop, which is a programmable bypass looper, it has seven presets per bank, ten banks, so I have clean tones in here, all the way up to all sorts going on, um, tune and mute, and that is my board. The only thing other worth mentioning is that it's going into the clean channel of the amp, I don't use the amp's distortion. And I have an extra power output on the side, which I use for my RC3 for stereo looping. Thank you guys. Um, that's a quick run over of my board. Reviews and breakdowns in the pedals will follow at some point when I get the time. I'm doing this, you know, on the side of a regular life. So um, if you have any comments, please leave them under the video. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you have any thoughts, suggestions, critique, um, then let me know. If not, then like, favourite and subscribe. I'll be putting more videos out about this stuff, some of my guitars and more instrumental music that I'm making pretty soon.